Today we'll be creating this horror movie intro title design in After Effects. Hey, welcome back to my new video. This is GFX Farm and if you want to learn how to make your own videos and animation, consider subscribing and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss anything. So without any further ado, let's jump right in After Effects and let's get started. Here I am in After Effects. I'm going to create a new composition. Alright, 8 seconds. Okay, let's go and organize it and create a new folder. Tuts 1. All right, let's drop that comp right inside that folder and let's open that composition by double clicking on that. All right, let's go and create a title first. Select the text tool, type horror. All right, so I've got a bunch of textures here. I'm going to add all the textures in the project file. By the way, if you love what I do, then you can always support me in my Patreon page and you can, you'll can you be able to download this template there in my Patreon page. So, let's drop this wrinkles texture there and let's scale it down to something like this. All right, so I'm going to drop this horror texture, horror text right beneath the texture and change this track mat to luma mat. Luma inverted. You can always scale down the texture here, which I'm gonna do right now. And I'll move it somewhere here. And I'm going to animate the position of this texture by hitting P on the keyboard. Set a keyframe there and go to 8 seconds and move it like this. So what you have is this animation. Alright. Since you have that, I'm going to pre-compose this both files so select both the files and control shift and C on the keyboard and rename it text one and hit move all attributes and okay so there you have the text so I'm going to go inside this text and you know select this and draw a box like this Right, and go here in the comp composition and crop comp to region of interest and that way you have a smaller you know comp where you can be able to move the comp right inside this uh, touch comp all right so let's get going with this I'm going to import the texture which is this and scale it up okay and I'm going to animate the position here. Hit P on the keyboard, set a keyframe. Go to the last frame and move it up or down depending on what you want. Okay, you have this subtle animation here. So what I'm going to do next is create a new solid. Layer, new, and solid. Okay, rename it whatever you like. And I'll go up here and select this ellipse tool. Selecting on that solid, double click and go down to the mask and subtract move it down just above this texture and hit F to bring up the feather like that and set this blending mode to classic color burn and increase the feather even more so that you have a very contrasted image going on there so I'm going down here in the texture I'm going to lower down the opacity to 20% and I'm going to create another solid which is black and I'm going to put just below this layer. Alright, something like this, you can increase the opacity and you know it, we have, we want this blinking animation like this going on, like this. So. What I'm going to do is set an expression for this opacity. Hold down Alt on the keyboard and click the stopwatch and type wiggle, begin bracket, 0.2, comma, 
and I don't know, maybe 20 and close the bracket and there you have it. So it will be blinking like that. And you can always change these values if you want a harsh, you know, blinking there. So it depends on you. All right, let's go back here in the solid that we have just created earlier with the, uh, an ellipse mask on it. And I'm going to, you know, select these points and make some random shapes rather than having a, you know, complete circle there. So you have some kind of randomness going on in the in the background texture. All right, let's keep it like this for now. I'm going to animate this, you know, texture, this this text that we have created, maybe a little bit small, and you can put it here or here, whatever you want, depending on your taste. And just go and animate this P. Set set a keyframe. And go back to the lost and go up there. You can see right now it's really boring and you know the text is just there. So we want the text to have you know to have more you know interesting look uh, by itself. So I'm going to inside this text again. And by the way, it should be text not 11, it should be 1. Okay. Let's go inside the text and you know reposition it. And I'm going here in the effects and presets. Go into animation presets, text, and blur blurs. And I'm going to select this, you know, evaporate here. So so it's like that. So hit U on the keyboard to bring up the keyframes. Select both these keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant time reverse keyframes in that way you have the reverse of that and go here maybe here and drop another or evaporate there and bounce out right that's kind of cool okay let's go back to the main comp here so now you have this so what I'm gonna do is uh, you know go in the effects and presets and type drop shadow and drop it on the text composition and select the color to, you know, red and distance somewhere here and softness to slight touch and opacity increase the distance okay, let's go into the project panel and I'm going to drop a texture here where is it? yes, this texture just on top of that text this is the texture and I'm going to scale it down and change this blending mode to classic color dodge. That way you have a contrasty text and a background there. So that's how I created that, you know, intro. So if you want to create another one, just go and, you know, duplicate the folder that we have just created earlier, control D and it's touch two and collapse that and rename it to text 2 and you know tutorials 2 and go inside tutorials 2 and it's exactly the same and I'm going to change this text so I'm going to drop this text to here to do that you can just hold down alt selecting on that text drop this text to over this and release it and go inside this text to and you can change the horror I don't know movie just change it and go back to text 2 and it's there and you can change the background as well let's say you, you want this texture select the texture that you want to replace hold down alt and drop this texture on top of that and bam there you have it you have that texture and you know you can go and adjust this mask and have some random random mask with every title that's how I created this complete design I hope this video is helpful to you if you haven't subscribed to this channel please subscribe and please guys give me at least a 200 likes this time and I'll be back with another very exciting tutorial 
thanks a lot for watching guys this has been gfx farm and i will see you in my next video